Hi everyone, I'm Carol Keller, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Antioch, Illinois in the United States. And today I have for you three alternative cards using the Sending Good Thoughts Paper Pumpkin Kit from July of 2022. Let's get started. Here is this month's kit. And there's a little reminder that it's celebration time this month and next month, so till the end of August. For qualifying purchases, you can earn free celebration items. So there's a little QR code that you can scan to see all the goodies. Some really fun things, the hippos, there's a hippo stamp set and some companion dies. Each you can earn for free with a $50 purchase. I love the wonderful world. It's the stamp set and designer series paper. And that is free with a $100 merchandise order. So, and then there are others, other designer series papers, other stamp sets, some foil paper, lots of fun stuff. And that is always a sneak peek to next month's kit. And there is a free gift in there. It is, I believe, some gold lattice paper. Really cute. So you can check it out if you are not aware of the Paper Pumpkin Fan Club page on Facebook check it out and you will see what the free gift looks like and then as always here is the kit with the cards as they are meant to be made if you make them just the way it says here and always double check to make sure everything is there on the back some of the things fyi were sort of hidden in between the card bases so it took me a little while to find things so just know that that they're probably not missing they're just in between the card bases and then you get this wonderful stamp set. I love the ship. Oh, I love that. And a little message to go in the bottle. Little seahorse and some starfish, some seagrass. And then the sentiments, thinking of you. Can't wait to see you. I really like that. Wishing you all the best. I wish I had had that. I just came back from vacation from seeing some family and friends from back home where I grew up in Connecticut. And then my husband has family in Massachusetts. It would have been fun to send a card beforehand and use that sentiment and then sending good thoughts. So in the stamp spot this month is Bermuda Bay. All right, let's get started with card number one. Here is the first card that I designed. This one is very simple and I had two goals. <laughs> I wanted it to look like the bird was carrying the sign and holding it in, holding the little string in his beak. And I wanted to make the bottle look like it was floating on top of the water by creating a little slit in there because I thought that would just be a good look. So that's what I went for on that. For this one, I am using a pool party card base. Rather than what comes in the kit, I thought pool party would be a good choice. There's my bone folder. And then I'm using from the kit. Oops, I've got two of them. Using this piece from the kit, there are three all together. So it's got the clouds and it's got the water and it's an ombre effect. I really liked it. So we'll put that on right away with some stamp and seal. And the only thing that I found difficult, I love the die cut pieces or the embossed pieces, I guess I should say they're not cut, they're embossed, but I love them. And I love the fact that they're embossed, but it makes it kind of impossible to stamp on them. So that created a little bit of a problem that I felt like I needed to overcome on some of them. And so, oh, and I forgot already, I needed to cut that slit right away. Let's try that again. Just gonna bring it up and then I'll place it back down once I make the slit so remember to do the slit first but here's the bottle and I know I want it positioned about here so my slit has to go about here and I just took my paper snips and basically carefully without cutting myself made a little slit about an inch or two and a half to three centimeters across and then I'm gonna make sure I can slide my bottle in there maybe we'll go a little bit larger this time maybe we'll do it this way
And then we're going to be able to just slip that bottle right in there so it looks like it's floating on the ocean. But first, before we do that, we are going to do some stamping on it. We have this wonderful stamp that has, looks like a little message that goes in the bottle. And I'm going to stamp that in Smoky Slate. I wasn't quite sure what color I wanted to do. I thought about Pacific Point, but then I decided I wanted something a little more subtle. So we're going to go with the Smoky Slate. And that is all we need for that, but we'll do the rest of our stamping. So I'm gonna bring in Bermuda Bay for the next part. And for the banner, I actually took this piece from the kit and I'm gonna use my scrap that I have. I stamped it, it started like this. I stamped it here and then cut it out. I'm gonna do things a little bit differently this time. So I just wanted to show you what the piece looked like, but I'm gonna continue using my scrap. So we're gonna cut off from the long part, a half inch. So we'll do it like this, put it up at the half inch line on my trimmer. Because I, I actually um, had stamped first and then cut, and then cut it, ended up cutting it down to a half inch. So I think that will work best. And we're actually gonna use this scrap for something on another card. So you will see that later. And then I did this after the fact too, but now I'm gonna do it ahead of time is I wanted to make a hole so that I could feed the twine through that comes with the kit. So I decided I could use this punch to do so because it's got a little hole. You could also just use your take your pick tool. And I'll show you that too, actually. I used my um, stamp and pierce mat the first time and I took my take your pick tool, take that sharp end and just poke a hole. But I wanna see how it works also with the punch. So I'm gonna do that this time. So you have either option. So I'm just gonna feed it into where that hole is. And I know I pretty much want it toward the edge. So I've got room for the sentiment. And there's my wonderful hole. It's a little neater doing it this way, but it totally works the other way too if you don't have this punch. And now I'm gonna take that wonderful sentiment, bring my ink pad back in, sending good thoughts. And I'm gonna do it close to where that hole is so that I can pretty up the end. And I'm gonna do, I'll pretty that up in a minute because on the inside, we're going to also stamp wishing you all the best which is another sentiment from the set. I love the font, I love the sentiments. They did a nice job this month as always. Make sure that's got good ink. So we're making use of that Bermuda Bay, but now we're finished with that. And last but not least, we're bringing in Pacific Point. So we'll finish up the inside. I have the little starfish stamp from the set. And I think we'll do it like this. And then we'll do the same thing on the envelope. And normally, as you know, those of you who follow my alternatives every month know that I typically end up cutting up the envelope, usually because there's some pretty colors or pattern or whatever on the inside. And this time there wasn't, so I decided, well, I'm just gonna use them as is. So that's what I'm doing today. You could also though, if you wanted to, cut this down and use just a basic white card base and use this as your first layer on the card. So lots of options, but we'll put that aside and I'm gonna put a little dab of glue here since I picked that up. And yeah, we're done with this. Just gonna get some multi-purpose liquid glue because I wanna hold that little spot down. And I don't want it escaping since I had to pick it up to make the little slit. And that will be much better. Fix that little problem and no one will be the wiser. And now we're gonna put things together. So for the bottle, like I said, I'm just sliding it into that hole, but I also put some dimensionals on the back because I wanted it to look like it was up, bobbing up out of the water. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm using my minis just because I need them for the neck of the bottle. I'm gonna use, well, maybe I'll use my regular ones since those come with the kit. And, you know, again, let me see. 
I think we want it here because this part is not going to have it, right? Because that's going to, this part, because so, that's going to be in the water. So minis might actually work better. Like I said, I used that the first time, but I just want it so that it's standing up and being held together. Maybe we'll move it over just a little bit toward that edge. And we will grab a mini where I've got the edge of a mini. We'll put that down here so that it looks like it's bobbing up out of the water. Take the paper off and then we'll slide it in. And so there it is with those dimensionals. That's the look we get. And now for the edge of this, actually, I'm going to use my bone folders like a little ridge. And my bone folder works nicely. Sometimes it gets that when you use the trimmer and the bone folder just takes it away. I don't want that ridge there. And all I did was basically follow the line of the die cut. But I think this time we're going to do it this way. I want it a little shorter. There are die cuts that come in the kit and this time I'm going to cut it this way. Let's see. How am I going to do this? Yeah. Go from here and here. So we're going to make a little different kind of flag. Um, so there is a strip that comes with the kit. Let me pull it out so I can show it to you. It's this one. And so it's meant for that sentiment on one of the cards, but it just seems so big and I didn't want it taking up so much room. And that's why I decided to cut it down and using the other piece as a scrap but you definitely could use this too. It definitely would work, personal preference. So now I'm gonna grab that little bird from the kit. There are a couple of them. And so I, he's flying away this way. So I put him on with dimensionals and I put this with dimensionals. But before I do that, I'm gonna pull the twine from the kit. And all I did was just feed the end through the hole. Oh, and it's much easier doing it this way, much quicker than actually using the paper piercer or the paper piercing mat and the little piercer from the take your pick tool. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot. So all I did was tie a little square knot. So I know it's going to stay put. And then we'll trim the ends. So I'm going to leave it long for now, and I may trim it down a little bit. We'll see what it looks like. So I want this positioned up in the sky, obviously, where the clouds are, and leaving room for the bird to be holding, again, that little tail, one of the little tails in its beak. So what I did was put a little glue dot. There are some that come with the kit, and it will work nicely right on the back behind his head and that's going to help anchor that piece of twine so that it stays there stays in place and then for the rest i'm going to grab those mini dimensionals again and we're going to we actually have to cut them down one will fit here and i'll have to cut this in half to use on the wings oh, i'm just going to grab it Cut it in half because we need really tiny pieces, especially for this side. And then you just kind of lay them in place. And grab a little bit right here, hopefully where it won't be seen. And then this one on the other side. And that helps anchor the seagull into place. Take the paper off. And so we'll put him up here. And then again, kind of taking that. Well, let's see. We'll put the let's put the dimensionals on the back of this first. And again, let's see if we can use what came in the kit. I think I'm going to use the edge because it's narrower. Always use up your edges. Whoops! On every single part of your dimensionals. So I'm pulling up the edge. And the ones I haven't used yet that I don't want, I'm going to move to the back. So I want one about that long. So I'm just gonna snip 
and then snip the end because this is nice and narrow and long. We're going to put it right on the back to pop up our sentiment. And I just want it so I know that that will fit there so that he looks like he's carrying that banner. So I'm going to tuck it behind where that glue dot is. How does that look? Just like he's carrying that banner in his beak. Let's see, I'm going to move it up just a little bit. Come on. And again, we'll give it a little bit of a trim over here just so it doesn't go past the edge of the card too much. Whoops, and I pulled them out. Let's fix that. One more time. Third time's the charm. There we go. Ah, perfect. That's exactly the look I want. So that is card number one. Here is my second card. And for this one, I was going for just a total under the sea kind of look using again, one of the die cut or embossed pieces, I should say from the kit. So let's get started with this one. I'm starting with one of the card bases from the kit. This one is Bermuda Bay. And that same embossed piece of cardstock that's in Fresh Freesia that has a nice ombre look again. And we're going to do some stamping right away on this. We're going to bring out, actually before we do that, let's do this. Now I used the bottle on the first card and there are only three in the set. This Of the small one, I should say. There are three sizes, but this is the small one and it fits on the previous card and this one, but now I've used them all. One thing you could do is if you have the bottle happiness stamp set and punch the vintage bottle punch you could use this one this is the one that we used and it is pretty close to the same size so definitely that will work but i don't have that yet i still need to order it i'm gonna probably be doing that today so in the meantime what i did was i just took a scrap of basic white and I laid this over and used it as a template. Traced around just like this. So that there's my template for that same size bottle. And then I cut it out, which I've already done. But I see in here that it's got that blue, it's not plain white, it's got the blue on it. So I decided to use my blending brushes to create some color or my blending brush. So I've got a uh, scrap here. You can see I've been working on some Christmas in July project. And I'm bringing in Balmy Blue because I want just a light finish on it. I don't want anything dark. So I'm gonna take my Balmy Blue and start off of the little bottle. And we're just gonna create a little bit of color as a background, just so that it's not plain white. And it's not exactly the same but it takes away that stark whiteness. So now that we've got that, oh, actually before I pulled my scrap away, we are going to color the cork. And so for that, I have my dark smoky slate Stampin' Blend, and I'm just coloring the edge just like they did on that one. And so now we've got our bottle. That's pretty close to what is in the set. Now for the stamping, we'll start with the Bermuda Bay. And if you see in the kit, the Sending Good Thoughts sentiment is very long. It's one long one and it won't fit here. So all I did was you could use our wonderful new masking paper if you're nervous, but I felt like I didn't have to. So you could cover up the word thoughts and then stamp, or ink it up, I should say, take the mask off and then stamp. But all I'm going to do is make sure that that word good is at the edge of my stamp pad, my ink pad, and get some good ink on it. Bring it in. 
and stamp it toward the top. Clean my stamp. That's very important. You don't want any straight ink from what I've already stamped. And now I'm going to bring that ink pad in again. And this time I'm just going to ink up the word thoughts. Again, just going right toward the edge and making sure that D from good doesn't have any ink on it. And the rest of it does, the word thoughts. That's some good ink. And then we put that right underneath. And there we go. While we have the Bermuda Bay, we are gonna stamp um, the fish actually on this. So we'll swap that out. And these little cute little fish come from the well done stamp set. So I'm using some of the components. We're gonna use that little jellyfish too. Could have also used the turtle, I like that, but I was going, I decided I wanted a jellyfish. So we, we're just gonna ink them up. And even though it's embossed and raised, I was able to get some good ink and some good images. So we're just going to stamp kind of randomly. Let's see, down about here. And hopefully those little fish will peek through once we have assembled everything. Oh, and then for our starfish, he comes plain. So I'm going to bring back that scrap of paper again. And there's a stamp in the set, in the kit, that looks like this. And we're going to use that to make some dimension on the starfish. So I basically just kept re-inking and moving along the die cut. And let's see, we'll do this to give him some texture and that. So now he's got a little bit more texture because I didn't like him so much plain. And then let's see, what did we do on the inside? Yes, can't wait to see you also comes from the kit. And we're gonna stamp that inside. Also in Bermuda Bay. See if I can do it straight this time. Much better. <laughs> My first time was crooked, even though I lined up the card up to make it straight. Oh well. So that is it for our Bermuda Bay. We're going to bring in Pacific Point and we're gonna have a little fun with that jellyfish. I need my scrap again. Lots of use, use of the scrap today. This time I'm going to stamp off because I don't want him to be as dark as he would be with Pacific Point. I want him a little lighter. So I think we will stamp him over here. So the inside is done. We're going to bring in an envelope and do the same thing. Stamp off and then stamp the front of the envelope. And then one more time, this time on a scrap of basic white. Stamp off and then stamp here. And we're gonna fussy cut him out. And actually I already did that. So we'll bring that one in because that's all done. And then also with that scrap, we'll bring that back because although we're done with the jellyfish, we are not done with the Pacific Point. There's a cute little seahorse in the set. And actually, that's right, I stamped him on Pacific Point. Well, it doesn't matter, I'll just show you. We're gonna stamp, because I already cut him out too. So we're gonna stamp and then cut out. And I did do it on Pacific point because I didn't want there to be an, any stark white showing, but you could do it either way. And then the same thing we're going to, oh no, one more thing with the Pacific point from the friends are like seashells set. We have this wonderful sand dollar. So we're going to also stamp him or stamp it, see if it fits and then cut it out with the companion dies. So that is it for Pacific Point. And I believe we are done with our scrap. And for the other seahorse, I actually stamped in Pool Party. So I've cleaned the stamp and I did Pool Party on Pool Party, but again, you could do it on Whisper White also, or Basic White, sorry, and then cut it out, whatever you prefer. 
And for the last of our stamping, we're gonna use the shell from the Friends Are Like Seashell set. And we're gonna stamp that in Fresh Freesia. And cut that out as well. So I will do the die cutting and fussy cutting and be right back. All right, so now I have all the components and we're just going to put everything together. So we'll start by putting the die cut piece onto the card base with some stamp and seal. And I'm gonna put some of the pieces in the corner because we're gonna put some of the uh, these pieces over. We'll grab my stamp and seal for the sand dollar. That right in the corner and I realized that I actually had used pool party on this to do the element of texture so this time I did use Bermuda Bay so you can determine which one you like best when you see the card done but I wanted to show a little more and it did I may put it here and move things around I want it to show a little bit more and not be quite so hidden I'm going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue, make sure I have some all along the legs and the center, and I think we'll do this this time. We'll change it up a little bit, let the glue catch, and we'll use the glue again for the shell. So let's see where we would like that, maybe here. That here and we'll put the seahorse on again with the glue I'm on the body and I am going to put a little bit on the tail and on the head just to make sure that it adheres and this is going to go up in the corner up here And I think we'll do the same with the octo or with the jellyfish. Put that over here. And the seahorses, we will we can sneak those in. So now I'm gonna position, let's see. Oh yeah. I'll put that one there. Yes, I like that. So again, we're using multi-purpose liquid glue just because there are so many small pieces. So I'm gonna put a good bit down here and then try to get the ends. And then some in the middle a little bit. And then the seahorse, we'll put one there. And one over here. Sneak it underneath a little bit. And then last but not least, our sentiment. And I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back or probably some minis. At least over here, and maybe we'll use the regular dimensionals for the rest. And there's our sentiment. I definitely like that softened and not being stark white. I almost wish I had done the same thing with the uh, sand dollar next time. But that is our second card. And here is my third card. I really like this one. I, I love the picture that it showed. They used this die cut the same way, stamping that ship on it in the same color, and I really like it. But I used some different pieces from the kit 
So again, an envelope from the set. This is actually a card base. I think this is a first for me to actually use the whole card base. And then it's white inside. So I debated cutting it in half and using it on a Whisper White card base. But this time I decided, I don't know, some of those cards and envelopes, I was going to use them as is. So anyway, here is the card. And as I said in my, when I was making the, the second card, the last card that I showed you, I really liked that outline. When I saw this, I thought, oh, this is something I really need to use because I just like the colors in it. That's definitely my favorite color palette. And I just felt like I didn't want them to go to waste. I liked that the outline was around the whole thing because I debated also using this, but the outline's not quite around everything, that red outline, that poppy parade. And I think you could probably add it if you wanted to with just a little sponge dauber. You could daub some of the poppy parade and use it, but that's another card for another day. So all I did was take my paper snips and fussy cut around the edges of this all the way around. And you do have to be a little careful because the middle is a little bit delicate, but I didn't have really any troubles. So I'm gonna cut that out and I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I have got that cut out and I'm gonna bring in, like I said, that fresh freesia card base that comes with the kit. It is kind of fun to be able to use up things a little more easily without having to take the step of getting a different card base and cutting this in half. And then I took this piece also from the kit and we're going to just put that on with some stamp and seal. And especially because it is embossed and it kind of goes in in the center, just make sure you get your seal right all the way around the edge. And I'm also going to put this on right away. Uh, let's see, I really want that blue to show. I think I'm gonna turn it this way. And for this, all I did was take my multi-purpose liquid glue. So we'll bring this in and I just put it on there at an angle and give it a press until the glue catches, especially because some of that won't be covered at all. So you really want it to be in place as much as possible. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we'll add another little dab there. Because again, I don't want my pretty card to tear a little bit of a dab there. And the rest looks pretty good because some of this is going to be covered. So now we're going to bring in the bottle die cut that has the water on the bottom. So I also have a die cut from the kit and a scrap of white that I'm going to use to stamp some of the other things that are we're going to use as kind of embellishments. So we will start off with We'll do the ship because that may need a minute to dry because it is a little bit dark here. So sometimes that takes a little longer to dry. So I'm gonna bring in Bermuda Bay. Get some good ink on my ship. Love photopolymer. We will line it right up on the top of the water. And we're gonna do the, the seagrass. Now these stamps come from the Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set. I'm using the little starfish, the small shell, and the little grass. And I purposely chose those because they all have companion dies that go along with the stamp set that coordinate. They are called Seaside Seashell Dies. And so that's what I'm gonna use because I know that then I can cut them out easily with my stamp and cut in a boss machine. So we're gonna stamp the grass. And then on the inside, I did not use any Bermuda Bay, so that means we're done with that. Let's bring in fresh freesia. And we'll stamp the little shell. And again, that, the angle doesn't matter because we're going to be cutting them out. I think we'll put the starfish over here. I think that'll fit, so we'll do that. And then I've got the wonderful stamp that comes with the kit. 
and I'm going to bring in, oh, I'll do it on this maybe, because I'm going to just stamp twice across the, the die cut, leaving room for my sentiment. And I'm going to clean this because we're going to be using it again. Oh, before I do that, actually, we're going to bring in the envelope. Because I stamped this in the corner of that as well. Be like that this time. And now we're going to clean that stamp. And be but before we finish with the fresh freesia, I stamped "Happy Birthday to my beautiful friend," and that actually comes from the Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set too. And we'll stamp that on the inside. And when I did the first one, I actually <laughs> had it a little off center. So I put the starfish there to sort of hide that fact. But because it's centered a little bit better, I'm going to just stamp the starfish in the corner. And we'll bring in Pacific Point for that. Got my nice clean stamp. And we'll stamp that. So obviously either way works. And then while we have the Pacific Point, we're going to do wishing you all the best. And this one is from the Paper Pumpkin Kit. And our stamping is, oh no, that's right. One more thing with Pacific Point, our starfish. See if he fits, ah, oh, maybe he won't fit. All right, that's okay, we'll just do it over here. And then I will cut these out and I will be right back. All right, so now we've got our pieces cut and I did want to show you the dies, the seaside seashells dies. There's one large one that cuts out different shells that again, coordinate with the stamp set. But I use this one, this one, and this one for these three die cuts. And now it's just a matter of finishing up our assembly. All right, so let's adhere everything together. We are going to use some dimensionals, like I said, for this. Put a few on the back, and these come with the kit. And then the same thing for the ship in the bottle. And then we'll just position this one at an angle up toward the top. And this one in the corner. And for these, I'm going to use some multi-purpose liquid glue. And there we have card number three. And now I'm gonna bring back all three cards. Here is card number one and card number two, and I'll bring both of them in with the different bottles so that you can see them. And card number three. So those are my alternatives for this month's paper pumpkin kit. I hope you like them. Thank you so much for joining me. I so appreciate you watching every month and I appreciate your wonderful comments and um, all the positivity that you give me. And of course, all the views, I appreciate that as well. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if you click on the bell, then you'll be notified every time I post a new video. I try to do paper pumpkin alternatives every month, but look around. I also have cards, scrapbook pages, home decor ideas, tips, techniques. There is a lot there for you to see and hopefully enjoy. And I will see you again soon. Take care, everyone. Happy stamping.